everyone. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about color mixing. We're going to be using some watercolor pencils, some liquid watercolors, and we're going to be using the prints that we made a few weeks ago. We stamped some stamps that we had made and uh, now the paint is dry and we're going to just be filling those in, experimenting with the way colors work and how they flow together when we add water. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to begin by mixing some of my primaries up to make some secondaries. I've already got red, yellow, and blue. So in my extra little areas, I'm going to use probably more yellow uh, to mix any other colors that I need. So I'm going to put a little yellow, and I just grabbed a tiny bit of water. Uh, this is an, a type of paint that's called watercolor paint and it's liquid and it's really nice because you can make it sort of opaque or thicker uh, and cover better or add water to make it more transparent. Now in other types of paint if you wanted it to be lighter you would add white but with watercolor paint you can just add a little bit of water and this is more of a yellow orange then a true orange, which is great because it's considered to be an intermediate, which I love the intermediate. You'll see lots of those in my composition today. I'm going to spread this all around and make sure that I'm having a little bit of orange all around the page so that uh, when I add my other colors, it will, it will look nice. So here we go. <music> Okay, now I'm going to make a little bit of green just by taking some yellow and adding some blue to it. Okay, so over here in the corner I'm adding a whole bunch of water on top of this black to show you that it's dried temper paint and it will smear around if I add a lot of water to it. Also, if you add a lot of water to your paper, it can get kind of uh, weak under there and it could rip. So kind of be careful. You don't want to scrub too hard. Always use lots of water. Don't give your brush a bad hair day. We're, we're experimenting, but we want it to be nice and smooth. And just be careful when you're going over the black not to add too much water. And because uh, that you might want that, but you might not. Now I'm going to make a little bit of purple. And actually, it's more of a red violet. Violet is the technical name. Okay, so as you can see, I, I made a blue-green and I didn't put it right on the orange or right by the orange until after the orange had dried a little bit. You have to be careful for colors that are straight across from each other on the color wheel, like blue and orange, uh, because if they mix, they'll make a brown, and I didn't really want a brown. So, But I do like the way those two complementary colors look when they're side by side. Blue and orange look cool beside each other. Now I want to show you in this part how you can uh, mix colors right on your paper. You can spread a little bit of yellow or a little bit of that red violet around and then take some of the blue green or, or straight blue and put it right on top like I'm going to do here and mix it right on the page. Uh, this is like a wet on wet technique so I've got the wet red and I'm adding a little bit of the wet blue and it's making its own new blue violet color which is great and you can try this out as part of your experimenting today.
Okay, so these are watercolor pencils, and you can use them just like they are, or you can dip them in water. Or if your paper's wet, like mine is, you can see where it's kind of shiny, that's water on there. You can uh, use the colors to just enhance where you've already maybe put a color. And this is going to allow you to create depth by just putting some shadowing in and making the colors more vibrant just by drawing right over the top. So I'm dipping it in the water. And now, oh, actually, I grabbed some blue. I dipped it in water first. But now I'm just going to color right over the top. And you might think, oh, Mrs. Mitchell, you're scribbling. But I'm not scribbling. I'm, I'm adding color there. Oh.